introduce yourself? So can you tell me what are the name of the unit that you are dealing with? Uh, yes, it is a Gas absorption unit. Gas absorption unit. Okay. So I think your lecturer have explained to you regarding to the uh, schematic diagram of this gas absorption unit. All right. So how many stream do you have for this unit? Four. So can you name that? Definite and solvent. Okay, can you show me here which one is called refinate, which one is called extract? Okay, uh, extract we can get from here because this is where the product, uh, the solvent rich product is get. So here and then the refinate uh, is this pipe over here. The refinate, refinate is the gas that comes out. This is the solvent. It is out there. It is uh, the carrier gas. And then the feed is the feed go from this one because the feed has the sol has the solute and the carrier gas. And then we have the solvent one which is at the top. Uh, oh, from here, this is the tank, and then it is. To the top to go to the bottom. So, what solvent do you use here? Uh, we use water. Water. What is the carrier gas that you're using here? Uh, what is? Carrier gas. Oh, yes. 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 So, what's the solute? Yes. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So, the main purpose of you using this particular unit is to separate what? Separate uh, carbon dioxide from air. Okay, so it shows that. So this is where you collect your product, right? Product your extract. So, but this is a sampling bar. But your extract is actually here. Okay, extract is here. All right, and then this is your feed uh, solvent. Okay, solvent. So kind of solvent that you use here is water. Where do you use water? Water is the cheapest, yeah, it's the simplest solvent that can be used. Easy to find. Yeah, easy to find. Okay. Alright, so why do you need pump? Okay. Why do you need pump? So now you have a contact between water and gas. And the gas. So what gas are you talking about? Mixture of mixture of uh, CO2 and uh, air. CO2 and air. Okay. So when what do you have inside the column? What is that? Packing. What's the name of the packing? Uh, What's the name of the small small packing inside? Uh, this is random packing system. Yeah, yeah. So what's the name of the packing inside? Pressure ring. Okay. So why do we need packing, girls? Why do you need packing inside? The surface. The surface Why do you need to increase the surface area? <laughs> to increase the contact area between between liquid and gas and the gas. So why do you need a contact between liquid and the gas? Where is the transfer? Where is the mass transfer takes place? 
Where? 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 Uh, at the... Uh, the men's tractor takes place uh, in the tracking itself because the flow of water from upstream to downstream and gas from downstream to upstream uh, kind of meet both medium so the absorption happens by the product by the process of flowing yeah have flow. you have you learned about interface mass transfer uh, no, interface. Interface, interface mass transfer interface is gas and liquid interface mass transfer have you heard about that yes so so the transfer takes place Where's the position of the transfer takes place? Just on the surface area. Okay, just surface area, a very thin film. So, how much uh, CO2 that you use? CO2 that we use is this one we use 0 0.3.0. 3.0. Eh? Huh? And then, eh? Uh, so, at 30 liter per minute. 30 liter per minute. Okay. So, look at here. So, this is the best uh, situation or phenomena that you can get. So, meaning that there's no flooding inside here. There are bad phenomena for this process. So, you can have flooding. If you have uh, lots of gas feed into the column, the water, can, the water cannot fall down. Alright. So if you have lots of water goes down, gas cannot fit in. Okay? The same case that you have done just now, where you have flooding, which is very bad. Okay, if you don't look at the situation, something might happen in the column. Okay? Alright. Thank you very much.